thumbnail. No, not this type of thumbnail. Thumbnail. The one that you find on YouTube. The one that determines whether people like you or not. Because first impressions matter apparently. <laughs> and apparently I suck at first impressions, you know? No one told me that fashion mattered so much in life. <laughs> And I'm not talking about clothes, I'm talking about your fashion online. This is so weird. This is so weird to say, but online fashion is a real thing. And when I talk about online fashion, I'm talking about what people perceive you to be when they see an image of your video slash photo slash whatever. And on YouTube, your online fashion just happens to be your thumbnail. <laughs> Welcome back to the Yankee. My name is Ashish. I am into filmmaking, into travel. So if you're into travel or filmmaking, please hit subscribe down below. Join Team Cube and join on this journey as I become a filmmaker as well as continue to travel and talk to you guys more about that kind of good stuff. So here's the thing. The thing is, even though my first impressions suck, I hope my subscribe button doesn't suck as much. So, you know, just uh, give us some love <laughs> and even though it's first impressions suck, I realized that I'm in control of that. I can improve what people see when they first see a video from me. I can improve the perception that people have. And what better way to do that than to learn thumbnails? What is, what's the importance? Like, what, what's the point? The point is, no one can see a video if they haven't seen the thumbnail. And no one that doesn't like your thumbnail is gonna click on your video. That, that's the point. That's where the problem is. <laughs> that's where my problem was for a long time and probably still is. <laughs> but <laughs> when it comes to thumbnails, I feel like a lot of people take it for granted just how powerful your thumbnail can be and how much more reach you could get with a really, really good thumbnail. And I know something that people talk about, like have good thumbnails when you start, like when you create videos and stuff like that. But it's one of those few things that no matter what is very timeless. I find myself scrolling through YouTube sometimes for like a good 20 minutes looking for a video to watch and I'm scrolling past a bazillion thumbnails that I'm not even vaguely interested in clicking in and not because they're not great thumbnails but because subjectively for me I don't like them and that's the thing even if the video had got great content and the and the creator is like making amazing strides and creating and creating like really dope content I'm not gonna click on it and the same goes for every other viewer that sees a video or sees my videos or sees your videos and they don't click on them because for them, they're not attracted to your thumbnail. They may like you as a person if they actually got to meet you, if they actually watch your video, but since they're not attracted to your first impression, they just won't click. I reach out to a lot of friends, a lot of people that are in groups that I'm in and ask for their input on how I could improve my thumbnails. And people aren't necessarily, you know, going to be straightforward because they don't want to hurt your feelings. But I feel like the people were way more frank it would help improving greatly because the thing about being able to improve as a person is you have to be willing to listen to all the criticism. There's some people that are actually going to be completely honest with you and tell you that, dude, this just sucks. Like, I would go right past it, mate. And not because you're not a great person, but because, like, nothing of the thumbnail interests me. And that's the thing. I'll give an example of a previous thumbnail I did recently. I learned that for people to click on your thumbnail, it has to have three things. It has to be clear. Essentially, it has to be very clear, like look good. It has to be interesting. It spark a sense of curiosity in people. And it has to be direct. Speak to a particular audience of people. You see, not everyone is gonna click on your thumbnail, even if it's the most insane thumbnail in the world. Let's say you have a thumbnail of someone that had been chopped over. I mean, that's kind of gruesome, but not everyone's gonna click on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, not everyone's gonna click on that. Only people that like are into violence will probably click on it. I released a video last week. The video I released last week was to do with 
creating an ad for Nivea. Now, in the first thumbnail that I put on that video, it was me holding, it was me holding this thing, which is my gimbal. I was holding my gimbal and I was, I was, I was literally just holding my gimbal like this with a short expression like, <gasps> right? And I put that next to the words, this ad was for Nivea. Here's the thing. The thing is, there is no context. People see a gimbal and they're like, gimbal's not made by Nivea. There is no product. I'm not showing the product I made the ad off. I didn't glare the product for people to see to be like, this is what I was shooting and I made this for Nivea. None of that was clear. So, of course, when people see it, it's like, okay, fine, I was ad for Nivea, okay, cool, whatever. Like, it's, it's fine, whatever. And for me, I saw that and I was like, I need to improve on that. I need to get better at that. What can I do to make this thumbnail better? It's the little thing that matter. And thumbnail is one of those little things that you don't realize matters until it matters. Until you actually sit down and study the data for what it is, not for what you want it to be or for what you feel it should be. Um, if you study it for what it is, if you study it for what it is, you'll realize that a lot of your growth is going to come when you can get your thumbnails right. When you can hack that system, you're gonna gain a lot of growth. Now, like I said, I am still trying to figure it out for myself. So in no way am I saying that I've gotten anywhere close because I really haven't, but please like this video down below if you agree with me. Please tell me some different tips and tricks that you feel would greatly help a great, that would greatly help people in improving their thumbnails. I feel like I need those tips and tricks as well. I feel like I need the advice as well. Like I'm, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking from someone who actually needs input. <laughs> so please like this video down below and please give me input on whether or not you know ways to improve thumbnails to essentially get better at having an eye for what people would click on i thought today i just gonna rant about thumbnails and talk about like my struggles when it came to it so guys please like down below hit subscribe join team cube i love all of you guys i appreciate you guys for taking the time yeah all right guys you know how we get out of here so until tomorrow, I'm going to continue improving my thumbnails. The end cube.